We are a local art and craft um, business, craft shop. Um, with an adjoined cafe, um, also locally focused, and also an inn. I opened Salty Roses eight years ago in Inganish, and it was just a craft shop, so I had the craft shop. Not for, just a craft shop. It was a special craft shop that I had <laughs> for five years, and Sarah Beth and I had talked about collaborating um, with a coffee feature in the craft shop. And so then um, we had been talking about this for a few years and finally uh, this building came to us and we were able to collaborate and, and make it a cafe, craft shop, in. Yeah. I think it like makes for a great experience for the tourists, but also feels really wonderful to us to be able to be like, you know, we know our coffee roaster personally. My aunt made that. My cousin made that, you know, I'm pretty, we feel pretty proud to be able to offer that type of experience to our guests and customers. You know, when we were growing up, it was always like you left the island, like to find work or to do whatever. And so it feels like really exciting that so many people are coming back here to start their own businesses and to like become entrepreneurs and like living here because they love it and because they like want to be mm -hmm. here. For people to start their own businesses and create little micro um, economies, it's very important for not only the people that live here, but to support tourists who come to visit so that there's, you know, there are people still living here, there are interesting things happening and there's opportunities for, you know, young people to, to stay and you know, create a life. To any young women who are looking to start a business in Cape Breton, I would say follow your dreams, follow your intuition, and let people help you when, when they are there to help you, because there's a lot of resources on the island um, that are available for people like us who wanted to start a business. Everyone's going to have an opinion and everybody's going to like have may maybe not understand your vision, but if you're kind of true to yourself, I think that you will be successful. People come here and they're actually like very surprised with like what the island has to offer. So it's nice seeing like innovative businesses moving here and we would love, love to continue seeing that like smaller businesses that are like setting up shop here, providing jobs, you know, it's, it's great. It's a beautiful, wonderful place to like live and raise a family and affordable too. So if you, we can continue to attract businesses like this, then I think that Cape Breton has a really viable future and you know, it's a shame when people are born here and from here and want to be here and can't be. So, I don't know, it's like we feel like really hopeful for 10 to 20 years from now. <laughs> yeah.